Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Radius Mod Shizia campaign. We pick things up for episode 9 from turn 32 in the autumn season of 196. So we had a pretty intense fight with uh, Mulu's forces last time and uh, we're going to clean him up this time. He has his armies but they're pretty much destroyed. We got a few level ups. Level 6. Ooh. Uh, max his health. And then looking at what each of these can do, I think the one that I would want would most likely be Instinct for Replenishment. Yes. So we'll go here next. So let's grab that one. Um, I wonder how they give skill points for Nunman Generals, because you know the Han Generals can pick up all the skill tree. Would I be able to pick up more points? I don't think so. I think like I can max two. Uh, they didn't change it for the Nunman Generals with the mod. Uh, regardless, the army moves forward and we'll be taking this T. So this fight we can just delegate. They're going to be suiciding into us. Uh, we'll release both. We'll get the items. And this is a level 5T. Okay, the AI do a pretty good job of leveling these up. And we'll take his last settlement here as well. And that's it for Mulu. Now he's still on the map. And we have a few ways of dealing with him. I really don't want to be the faction that wipe him out. So if we can let Mulu do it for us, that would be great. We want patience. Hmm, over here, speed boost for the cavalry. Now. Let's see if anything changed here. We picked up an extra item. A lot of extra weapons, actually. So... You don't mind. Go with something more aggressive. I don't think there's any new characters. Still Hua Tuo here. Yep, he's willing to peace out. Now, he doesn't have any items. He's still in a war with Meng Huo. Meng Huo is sending an army over, so he'll lose there. He can give us cash. How much cash did he save up? A oh, ton of money. Let's see how much of that we can get from him. Seems like around 8,000. There we go. Alright, go fight Moho over there. And our armies can all shift up. One here, one here, and we can close in on his location after that. Um, he will still stay defensive over here, and I think I'm going to recruit one just to complete Fuya down here. So... Who wants to take a little naval trip? Hmm. We'll summon one of our new Naman generals, and we'll also get rid of the entire retinue here. These are just really standard Naman units. Yeah, future administrator. I mean, probably gonna stay a Simon character for a while, but eventually. Can't use them for much. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna move them up to here and here, so that's fine as well. All right, nothing really interesting there. Spy-wise, we do have him in Liu Bei's faction. The target options are not that good, but we do have huge gains here. He is in the army.
Okay, there's a few targets. But I think I want to just first build up some points so we can do multiple discredit factions in a turn. Yeah, let's wait two turns before we do it, because we need a big shock if we want to get Liu Bei's faction to defect. Alright, we also need to change some of our items, because we have four characters here who are now in the faction-wide role. So, Shixie off the bat is using sets for his armor, so he can't really get much else. Which is fine. Liu Yu is someone we could probably work on, but maybe we'll take a look at our son first. So he has these sets for high authority, for high fa uh, satisfaction, trade influence here, extra authority. I mean, we could use something like this, but he's not on the battlefield, so it's kind of wasted. He is on the battlefield, so I think he can take the bell. That will also help with his authority. There we go, pushing that over 100 points where he learns a new ability. So I think getting the stats over 100 is kind of crucial in um, records, uh, not records, but radius mod. Because I think that's what's giving us the extra stat boost. And Yang Feng is the other character. Now he's not going to be able to boost much authority at all. I don't really care about extra resolves. Yeah, that's not really going to be relevant for us. Any item that we are maybe utilizing on the wrong character? Not really. Okay, so he can stay put. He's trying to level up doing some uh, assignment stuff. But he's actually not doing assignment. So I guess I should just use him. That way he can level up. Yeah, there's a decent amount of food production here. Let's do it. Alrighty, so we're settled. Army takes a few turns to recover, move them to position, and then go to war with Monghua very, very soon. Alright, next. Alright, Mulu's combined forces actually beat Monghua's army there. Quite interesting. A little conquer on a recruiting streak, engineering. I'm going to move you guys to here, actually all the way to here. Oh, he went south. Is he at war with anyone else? No. Okay, he's just running away then. How does he still have a trade route? Does he still have land? Hmm, that is weird. We'll pick that one up. I mean, we'll leave him alone. Let him figure out how he wants to die. Alright, let's see. We've got a lot of level up. Which is good. Grab that. I'll take the night battle. Alright, it is the winter season, so we have so much cash that we should start rushing things, especially here. We should consider converting this soon. The percentage boost is nice, but eventually we would want our version, because we do have T. We still have 53k. We still have a ton of points. Now, we can't do two of these, so we're going to wait one more turn. Although, anyway, we can spend another... I could empower trade. I could do one of these, actually. Drop someone by 30 first. Ooh, Yanbai Hu is actually only a 61. That's not that high. Wei ends at 82, Guan Yu is at 74, although I think Guan Yu is not really going to be trade obey, so... Yan Bai Hu is a maybe. Let's start there. Ooh, 
43 points. I thought it would be 40 points. They changed the value here. I think they changed it so the discredit character is only 28 points, but discredit faction is now 15 points. That's a very interesting change. But he's at 18 now. I can't see if he's willing to spy for me. But I don't know when I'm getting my next reform, but we can think about getting a spy reform next. All right, our splendor is about to max. So we can start buying some chests. Now, I'm not interested in using these chests right away off the bat, but I guess we can start with the diplomat chest. And we can give it to one of our characters who is actually in the prime minister role. So enjoy 20 turn of boost for our whole faction. Uh, essentially, when we talk to everyone, you see there's 15 points of uh, treaties with us. I, mean, I think it's artificial name, but uh, basically we'll get that boost with all factions, which... Hmm, no. Maybe it's just part of faction influence then. Pretty good. Yeah, we also get the passive income from Silk and Spice, which is beneficial, but not really game changing. All right, let's continue. Let's push on. All right, whenever I see Fireball like that, I know it's Dylite with his awesome mace. Well, let's teach him a lesson about fire attacks. Now he's level seven now. Right, I think we looked at these. Nothing really changes. Emma level 6. Yeah, nothing really significant change. Unless we want to go heavy range. Wait, these charge bonuses are very nice. Oh, I like this unit. Wow. Northern Mounted Raiders. Okay, I think we switch to this and give him, give him instinct then. Oh, uh, uh, cunning instead of instinct. For extra ammo. He has pretty high cunning already. Okay, let's swap these then. Like the difference here is you get a shield on these units. But that's not what we really want them for, and they lose a lot of charge. We want to maintain high charge bonus, and then having the ability to harass will all be, always be good. Now, I don't think he can pick up fire arrows from his um, missions down here. Right, so I have to use titles to give him that. I don't know if we unlocked it yet, but I know there is one title that... Well, there's poison arrows, that's something. Range damage. We might just do the poison for now. Flaming shot, not fire arrows. Maybe it is just the poison arrow unlock over here and flaming shot. Maybe there is no fire arrow unlock. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I don't think there is one. Poison sounds great. And then 50% less desire for higher office. I think I put him in an office position where he doesn't have that anymore, but still. We get the poison enable ignore forest penalties. Extra resolve, extra instinct. Salary is a non issue for us. Master of the hunt. Alright, you guys are full healed. March, march, march. Get here a little faster. Want them to fight, obviously, and afterward we can maybe clean them up. I don't know where he's trying to go. Maybe he's trying to pick up the empty land as well, but too bad. 
we are here first. And we get to pick some faction council. Ooh, Han Rebels, which is fun, but not useful. I'll explain, but let's see. Set item or income? I'm going to gamble on the set item. Could be gold. Give up on some income there. Reroll. I think we looked at him. He, he could lose one that's partially useful for us. Pacifist. Um, so I'm going to pass on that. And maybe we can try to reroll him to another character. But the problem is having Naman generals or Naman uh, garrisons causes this bug. Oh, finally someone else. Abochu. Vein. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is what we want. Okay, set. Oh, this is even better. Because I don't really... I want to take Monghua's land myself. Get him married. No thanks. Give me some more income. Increase the garrison. Decrease... Oh, Zangke build up. Okay, we'll sign up for that. So we caused the rebellion, I believe, here. Right, so imagine the Han faction... You know, taking over. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be Han rebels instead of Naman rebels. And what set item do we get? A foreman. Not terrible, but not the obviously the gold that we we're hoping for. Now the foreman would go really well in Jianming once we do capture it. So we can wait on that. We have the development focused on them this time. So we're going to go tall, we're going to build income, we're going to do the swap. Massive level 1 extra army limit for us, faction wide. Actually, pick up patience first. We do get a reform, but who else leveled up? Administrator. Okay, you're administrator. And pick these up. Um, let me give him this. That means you can probably take that. Klopu doesn't really have any industry. We want to explore more spying options, but unfortunately, it's not readily available. Okay, I'm going to do this just to get that done. And now when we consider stuff, we can take a look at some of the new units we unlocked. Onyx Dragons, still good as ever. But I think we're going to stick to our repeating crossbow theme just to do something different. Yeah. Um. So, Spy. He's at 12. I feel like there's a couple way we can guarantee this. So I'm going to use his discredit faction one more time. Uh, different characters or else it's not going to stack. Let me just use it on him. And then I'm... Yeah, he's at zero. Then I'm going to use up all his points. And then I'm going to disown him. The 69 points will stay... Okay, so it looks like Yenbai who is not willing to just turn, which is fine. We grab Liu Dai, which is also semi-unique. Yenbai who is going to leave the faction by himself. And then we can see where he goes. Now, it seems like, you know, discredit faction stacks really heavily with the radius changes. So we can probably steal a lot of characters this way. Like Guan Yu is going to drop to zero. He might not come to us, but he will drop to zero. And Liu Dai, I'll keep. I don't think Guan is going to show up as a turncoat. So basically we're gambling on them both just leaving the faction and seeing um, where they might go. Wei Yen's also have a pretty good chance of being dropped to zero next turn. And we're just going to keep an eye on the recruitment pool. Is hopefully have some of his characters show up. Alright, that's the best we can do. Should I start marching over here, given that there's going to be a rebel group that we can probably pick on? 
I can probably just wipe him out. Well, actually, he has Fulian's capital here. Ooh, both directions. Okay, then we want to get this first, set up a vassal, and then pick up the rest, because I don't really need to keep this. Look at Liu Bell over here. The AI just have so many armies. Anyhow, let's see Dai Lai wipe the floor with him first. Um, we haven't been looking at this, but we're, you know, above the point where we need to really worry about it. And there's really no one that we need to trash talk. Just the passive decay. So let's continue. Should we just rush a lot of these? Because I feel like we have the money to do so. And we're missing key buildings. Alright, we don't have the reform to make any other jumps right now, so I'm not gonna make it any taller. Hope was not being under it's not under the key development here. It's on Kui is. I'm gonna get this done. Go for T. Rush that. Yeah, I think we'll go for the mix. It doesn't make a lot of sense to go for the spice one. Actually, it does, doesn't it? We need an entrepreneur, which means we need a marketplace. And this place definitely deserves a marketplace, even though it might not be a good... It's not a good fourth building, because it doesn't level up fast enough. So, like, for example, if we want the entrepreneur, if you look at the requirement, it needs to be a large city. So we can't build it even if we do get it. So I'm going to do that first. We can settle with that for now. I'm going to rush this all the way up. And then just leave it like this for now. Hmm. Perhaps this is where we want to do the marketplace investment. Just so that we have other options. But I think we're going to wait. There's no rush, really. All right, let's continue. And by who caused the civil war? Interesting. Okay, so all the dissatisfied generals left in that civil war, I guess. And they didn't come to me. Huh. I mean, we gotta wait for points, but... Kind of interesting what's going on over there. So this army defected. Guan Yu was in Yan Bai Hu's army. They defected together. They defected. They defected. Five armies defected. Five full stacks. Good luck, Liu Bei. Oh, they took land as well. They have their own capital. We end stuck over here. Oh, he has land here as well. This is a mess. And we caused it. Alright, so we can go to war with him. That's one fight we have. I don't like the fact his army slipped past, but I know he's going to war with them, which is good, but this means we have to track him. Like we have to follow him just to make sure he doesn't, you know, tear our rear behind. It was Nanman rebels. That's good news for us because then we don't have to actually, you know, um, fight and lose Imperial favor. I should have recalled you last turn, but I forgot. Uh, Sun Tzu is taking over all these land. Might lose us a few trade partners, actually. 
Yeah, we would love to trade with you. Um, okay, you're generous enough. Now, we actually might need our food because we're going tall in quite a few places. So I'm not going to offer it up. It's not like he's rich either. I'm going to get another one of these. I understand that these will help our development, but right now I don't really need to focus on that. We have so much cash that speeding up by two turns versus just rushing it. Like, what's the point at this, you know, at this level that we have right now? Yeah, this faction influence. We have 10 points of faction influence from something else, but we have 30 points from this. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice. All right, we're going to start this war first with Tuan. Any sort of capture rate change we need to make adjustments for? No, he's got patience. He's level 6. We're all good. Let's attack. We should be fine. Alrighty, it's one of those Naman cities, so they're elevated, uh, no walls, but kind of hard to charge into them. I hope they charge out. It looks pretty even everywhere. I guess it really doesn't matter where we fight. I'm just gonna pick this side. The Really, no particular reason. Alright, and I know some of you mentioned that you want to see the new units up close to see what they did with the modeling work. We'll do that. Give us a second here. So these are obviously newer units. But I think visually, they're basically... Oh, oh, there's some changes. Heavy spear guard shield, some tiger cloth on the shoulders, and then bamboo sticks for weapons. Ah, interesting. Helmet. I think they took the helmet from one of the Imperial units. Really mixed bag of uh, gear right here. So they can't fire a well when they have that. Okay, that's fair. So we'll just have them in regular formation with the javelins ready. Right, so the bamboo stick is the javelin weapon from the Naman units. That makes perfect sense. And then we'll take a look at these guys. These are the Nanyue riders. Looks like the cataphract course with uh, one of the minor uh, Naman tribes shield. I forgot who has this symbol, but definitely maybe Wutu. And then we have a saber for a little weapon. Close to a scimitar look. Uh, armor, decent headdress, some tiger cloth on that guy. And then just a little white tie and then also nothing right here. That horse looks like a white elite type of horse. And I think that's all the... Oh, we also have these. Bot Axemen. Also the Turtle Shield, Rattan Armor. A pretty rustic axe. Insane helmets for all these guys. We definitely spared no expense for the helmets. And their job would be to... I don't, really, I don't think they need to be in formation, though. Their job is just to counter the flanks. Alrighty, let's get on with the fight. We'll take out the towers first. And hopefully they might charge out after the towers are gone. Well, 
Well, their morale is already kind of shattering with night battles and getting shot like this. You guys should really think about charging out, it'll make my life so much easier. No? I just want to move the whole formation up. They don't have a lot of range. We can get away with it. One fifty. Right, they lowered the juggernaut to one ten, which is interesting because the base game is one fifty. Like all the range got nerfed, except for Tribuches, still five hundred. But the range on these are also weird because it says one ten, right? But it, it feels longer than that, and the animation's weird too. I don't know. It, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it matched. We're all in position, good. Except for the trebuchets, I believe. They're still crawling. They might actually be in range to shoot them. They're in range. Machine guns going. There's a lot of trees here though. Might shift a little bit that way. No shield? Poor guys. There's like this blurring here in the middle. Uh, it's probably the background on the on the map. I mean, they're maintaining very good discipline with their loose formations. We don't just shoot anymore. You guys can take a break. It's a lot more effective to use these. Where's the other generals? Oh, we're missing pretty badly here. Overshooting a little bit. The density here, please hit. There we go. Mm, the angle is kind of hard to hit them, actually. Right, let's finish up the front here. And we might start having to charge units actually into the settlement. Alright, while they're going... Oh, 
We're gonna stop that unit from interfering. You shoot this, you shoot that. Yeah, I think this is good. See, I don't think they can fire. Oh, they can. Okay. What? Hmm, the fact that they can do that is kind of weird. I feel like we should keep moving up. I feel like angles doesn't really matter for us now. Let them have it. Oh, he should just stop moving. Alright, we're in position. I don't know if we can fire from this angle. I hope we can. Experimenting. Oh, we can. Uh, it's not working very well, though. Mm, kind of put them in the pickle here, because now they can't fire. Pull off the machines and walk back real quick. Let the spear guard absorb the damage. Actually, we gotta go back because now we're just getting shot. Ooh. The second I clicked back, he just fired. Didn't even pick up the machine yet. Alright, I'm gonna pull them back because our positions are getting overwhelmed a little. And them off. Stop him from firing. We're also fighting downhill, which is, uh, they're fighting downhill, so they have a good advantage here. Boys, I have some bad news for you guys. I want you guys to try to pull this way. I want you guys to try to pull this way. Open it up. I right, now push into them. Okay, that worked.
Did you break through? Yeah, these two spear guards are just tanking up all the damage. Even our friendly fire damage. Oh, there's one more. Shoot him down. This is over, right? Who else do they still have? Alright, we're finally out of ammo back here. Let's use you guys here. Well, they got quite a few range units left. And quite a few spear units. Alright, we're gonna try to angle it like this. Give them a shot here. Oh, you guys wait. It's gonna be a lot of fire here. Well, unless they route. Oh, um, uh, oh, there we go. They routed. All right, we really only use like his retinue plus like two units to kind of beat their whole team. Newcomer, warrior, melee attack rate, we like that. Immune to scaring, we like that too. Greedy, I mean, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I mean, this is even worse. I'm just gonna release him for now. I don't think I need him. Don't worry about population. Liu Bao's coming down here. He's not actually taking the Han territory. He just placed his army next to Han territory. It's kind of interesting. It's like, I'm not going to war with you, but I'm going to put my armies right next to all your settlements. All right, finally night battle. So the army is going to come out because we're going to find someone to liberate. I'm going to find someone from this group, someone we don't care about, obviously. We could use a family member. I could just adopt someone. That's also another option if we don't want to say goodbye to any of our real family member. We do have a bunch of kids who might come of age soon, but I think everyone else is currently, you know, being utilized in some sort of role. I think it's adopting time. We could adopt Hua Tuo. I don't think he makes a particularly good faction leader or anything like that. And there's a chance he could be a spy for Ma Teng's faction. But it wouldn't matter because we would just liberate him. All right, so we'll grab him. He's going to report back to Ma Teng if he's a spy. He's like, I finally got recruited and I got adopted into the family. And he's going to make me administrator. Oh wait, he liberated me. We don't have a trade route, but I can promise him that. He should start with a stone pig. I'm going to grab that. And I'll take whatever amount of money you're willing to give me. I really don't value the relationship. He's also defiant, so he might leave us. I might just release him, you know? That might be the play here. Right, with personalities like this, it's better off if we just release him now instead of having him declare that on us. Meow. He's going to love the idea of being released, and 
Why can't I sign non-aggression? I guess because we currently have vassalage. Because I have an army in his territory, he's going to feel that we are trespassing. Which we are. Maybe you can give me this back. Keep you small and weak. He's going to value cash. We have so much cash. Give him... You're going to need the food after we take your cattle. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, I'll give him... Oh, he's going to ask for a lot. That's fine. We have a lot to give. And then point six, I guess I'll make... There we go. We just need him for Splendor. It will refresh next turn. We are trespassing for a turn. I think it's fine. I guess we don't have to force any sort of... Oh, he's willing. He's willing. Okay, so we'll sign this. Maybe give us some of that cash back. Not gonna have much per turn income, but he can give us a little bit of this cash back. It'll be nice. And that's obviously not the only one we want to sign. We also want to sign... Military access. Oh. Never mind. Guess we're just going to trespass for our turn. No big deal. Yeah, it's the Wutugu symbol on our shields. Um, we're going to go finish him off right here. I kept it just to keep our food up high. And also just I don't want him to be a big faction to start with. All right, we're doing well. We're tracking the enemy armies that we could potentially get into a fight with. Zongke, yeah, we should probably rush some of these. This is definitely one of those places I do want to go tall. I think we will do that. And we might as well rush both at the same time. Food is now really stretched, of course. We want to get the market. I'm going to cancel this, actually, now that I know I can get the marketplace level 4. I'm going to start with this one. We can definitely do double marketplace, given so much commerce here. And then we're going to do spice focus. We're going to do level 5 upgrade. We pretty much spent all our cash, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Picked up Jenning. We can level that up. And I think... Where's our other... There we go. This one can be leveled up too. If we rush this. I need another build water? Apparently I do. Okay, that'll do it. We officially have no money, almost no food, uh, but we're fine. Administrator, because we rushed so many buildings, leveled up as well. Uh, extra reserves. I think I'll pass on that. Because I want more resolve. Yeah, as administrator, pick up more resolve for more population growth. Now we can continue. All right, he's going to actually let Mulu live. He declared everyone's picking on Hua Tuo. Liu Chong's killed. We're in 197. Ryoda has been promoted. Wei well, ends on 28 points. He cannot use his points. He, I can't even extract him. Oh, he's on cooldown this turn. Okay, that can't do anything. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait a turn then. Um, He backed off. We're gonna follow, obviously. We're almost one turn away from kind of in the best position to attack him. I'm going to pull him back towards here. Alright, we also get to heal. I don't think I need to make any moves elsewhere. Alright, we do get a reform. We're going to work towards getting that second spy up. 
So we're gonna start here, character salary decrease for the school buildings, and then get this one. I think just that one for now. Maybe this for another spy. That's the way we will gain a couple of spies. Diplomacy with all factions will be kind of nice. 15 points of satisfaction. And this new Emerald Dragon unit, we can definitely explore that. We can just focus on blue for now. Yeah, definitely. We have a lot of commerce in our land as well. So no spying, no real army movement. Everyone just kind of shifted up a little. Go back to our focus. Definitely want to build this up at least. We'll go back to saving money. Public water is getting trashed by building and population. That is very normal. We're going to end up having a unit here taking care of the fighting. Um, a lot of peasantry here, so you'll come back. Not really rushing any more buildings. Surplus market should not be here. It should either be here or here. I'm mean, giving Zonkula super develop. We're going to do Zonkula. There are not that many building upgrades left here either. So I don't know if I need to use them. There's still going to be plenty of buildings here. So we'll throw one of them here. And same thing here, even though she doesn't like to work here. Don't buy also doesn't like to work here. Well, one of you has to get the job. I'm sorry. There you go. Yeah, we could really use more characters, to be honest. Yeah, you're not that bad. We'll grab you. Alright. So we do have the boosts. This could use a boost as well. Switch to T. Perfect. Quick and easy turn. Let's continue. Mini. Oh, Meng Huo declare war on us first. Perfect. I mean, is he going to siege us here? War is declared. We don't need to call our ally. He doesn't even want to help, so it's fine. Okay, the Yuan brothers have stopped fighting. Ooh, two of those you share your bond with have become quite close, relishing in the pros uh, prosperity you afford them. They want to celebrate their bond, ask you for counsel in how to do it best. They're a private gathering. Uh, their two relationship deepens deepens with us, costs a thousand. There are feasts, just their two. And then 25 satisfaction for the whole faction costs more, or just good for them. Um, let's do the feast. I like to keep everyone happy. Money is no object for us. And it seems like we can definitely use this as a save point. They have a nice elephant we can try to capture. And capture rate wise, he's excellent. He did not send an army out, so I'm going to just try to deploy these guys as aggressively as possible. Not worried of bumping into an army, or even two armies for that matter. So they're fine. I'll use that as the save. I don't know where Dailai's army went. I'm assuming he ran back. Maybe here. But just to play as safe, we're going to disappear and ambush here. Do I need another army set up? No, I think we're fine. Let's get all the building orders done, too. Simon is active. Good. Everything's slightly quicker. I'm just going to rush this down. We're going to focus on income. Alright, we don't have the food to afford any taller builds. I'm going to rush this because we also have the Simon active and also we have this empty slot. Now the Simon isn't going to make these any quicker than what it is already being displayed, so that's fine. And then we'll upgrade that right after. Good amount, a good amount of money there. Alright, and then let's take a look at the spy situation. We can finally make a move. Wei Yan is super low. He picked up a Nanman general. Interesting. 
looks like interference is back on the table. He's at nine. We really want to see that spy position increase so we can take a look. Maybe I just recall Liu Dai because I do want him. We can test that out next time. Ooh, Meng Huo's main army is here as well. So we're going to come back, fight this siege at the beginning of the next episode, and officially enter into war with them. His main army is here. I know Dai Lai has an army over here as well. So we're going to just push into him. He might have more land than this, given that he confederated uh, Lady Zhu Rong. But we're looking to slowly wrap up our fight. They're breaking out over here as well. We're going to destroy all the Nanman territories inside here in the southwest. Uh, Shamoko is still kept alive because he's our, kind of our barrier against Sun Tzu. I don't think he'll do well against them. Looks like, you know, he's only has two pieces of land now. Yeah, and he's fighting them. So he's going to have a hard time. And maybe he gets wiped by them, and that's fine. They're our coalition partner. Uh, we will focus on this corner, pick up all our silk, pick up all the tea, all the iron mine, get into the Shu region to see what's over there, and basically carve out this piece of land for ourselves. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!